The next few slides will highlight some of the work we have been engaged in this year to address the strategic priorities and the blueprint expectations. Thanks to the County Council's support of our fiscal year 24 budget, we were able to add three math coaches so that all of our elementary schools now have a math coach. These individuals work directly with small groups of students to provide intensive intervention to accelerate student learning, which is imperative for addressing the gaps in our achievement data. In addition, the math coaches work with teachers to provide real-time, ongoing professional learning to improve classroom teaching practices, to meet student learning needs, and to ensure that instruction is aligned to the rigor of the standards. We are already seeing evidence of the positive impact of our coaches. For example, a teacher recently shared with me that she is meeting with her math coach weekly to plan her lessons, and she is demonstrating some of the greatest gains in student mastery of grade level standards. Through grant funding, we've been able to implement map testing for elementary students in English language arts and mathematics. This allows us to track student growth and progress in meeting grade level standards. Having this data allows teachers to differentiate their instruction to address individual student learning needs in an effort to intervene with targeted instruction before gaps develop. This data also provides a level of transparency of our progress as a district as it is reported to our board on a regular basis and is shared with parents so they know how their child is progressing. Grant funding has also allowed us to do an audit of our elementary reading and mathematics curriculum. We convened a group of teachers, administrators, and district staff to review new reading and math curriculum options that would be better aligned to the standards. We have the reading recommendation aligned to the science of reading available for public review and we'll be making a recommendation for mathematics at our next board meeting. Our second strategic priority is fostering an engaging environment for all students and staff. In this area, providing school-based mental health services is a significant effort. As all school districts can attest, the impact of school closures has had an adverse impact on students' mental health. We have been seeing students with more significant needs that left unaddressed create conditions in which they are not prepared to engage in the learning environment. This year, we have also implemented a process to get feedback from students and staff on their perceptions of multiple factors that impact school climate. The intent is to be able to address issues so that all students and staff have safe and caring school environments. The board's third strategic priority is to recruit, hire, and retain high quality teachers. Research consistently demonstrates that the most significant factor for student achievement is having a high quality teacher. The challenge for school districts across the nation is that there is a critical shortage of teacher candidates. We have developed a few innovative strategies to ensure that we are staffing our classrooms. The first is our Grow Your Own program for graduating students, many of whom complete our Teacher Academy of Maryland program as high school students. After a thorough application process, we provide students with college scholarships if they agree to return to Talbot County Public Schools to teach. We currently have nine Grow Your Owns, one of whom graduated with her degree in December and is, was able to move directly into a classroom vacancy. We have used grant funding to expand the Grow Your Own model to an employee to teacher program. We recognize that we have amazing support staff currently working with our students who would be great classroom teachers. We now have five instructional assistants and one bus driver who are pursuing their teaching degrees and will eventually fill high needs teaching positions in our schools. As you know, the Blueprint for Maryland's Future is a framework for improving learning outcomes for all of our students. TCPS is embracing the Blueprint because we know that there is alignment between the Blueprint expectations and our county's beliefs and aspirations for all students. Easton Elementary School is entering year three as a community school and will begin implementing wraparound services that meet the specific needs of their students and school community. And in the 24-25 school year, 
Easton Middle School will begin year one community school implementation. We are also supporting teachers in pursuing national board certification, which has been identified as a measure of distinction for an effective teacher. We have increased our collaboration with Chesapeake College to support dual enrollment for our students, including supporting the ability of our students to earn a high school diploma and an AA degree when they leave high school. Meeting the requirement to increase teacher compensation has also been a priority. This factor alone is a significant part of the increase in our budget request. It is, however, the greatest investment that can be made in the long-term success, not only of our students, but of our entire community.